Compost is the blood in the veins of any garden. It supports and feeds all the microbial life and other soil life. It helps with water retention, soil erosion, and it can also build soil structure. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to build the most effective compost bin from pallets. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is Simplify Gardening and on this channel we deal with all things gardening. If you want that perfect garden to relax in or just want to grow your own nutrient dense foods then start now by clicking that subscribe button and the bell icon. Then click all to be notified each time I release new content just like this. In order to make a compost bin that will produce you nutrient dense organic compost that will build your garden soil you need to follow a few fundamental rules and they are as follows number one the ideal size is a cubic square meter or 3.2 feet square because this gives enough volume and mass so that it creates enough heat to break the compost down much faster number two when we're building and designing our compost bin, we need to consider the style of pallet that we're using. Euro pallets are really good for this because they are relatively square. They are just as high as they are wide. Now, if we designed a bin that was low and spread out, then this wouldn't help the compost because it allows it to cool down too quick. What we need is stout, high compost bins and this helps us build our heat much quicker to break it down quickly so that you keep that nutrient within the compost itself. And number three, although you may have heard people talking about introducing air into compost, this is good for the compost, but we also need to ensure that we are enclosing that compost. So we need to create a cover around it and a top to help hold that heat in. The whole build process is quite straightforward and I'm gonna walk you through step by step so that you can see exactly how to build a system just like mine. Now mine is a five bay system. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a single compost bin, but the methods are identical. So if you want more and more bays, then you just add those bays on. The process is exactly the same. So if you want a system like my five bay, you just keep adding sections, but the overall methods are the same. So what you'll need to be able to build this compost bin is as follows. You're going to need three Euro pallets and possibly a fourth if you don't have some planked wood available to you for the front. You're going to need some floor protection, some screws, nails, or whatever you want to use to fasten the compost pallets together and you're going to need a sheet of plastic you're going to need a piece of carpet and obviously you're going to need a hand saw and a power impact driver or drill driver now the tools for using this are very basic it's literally a saw and a hand driver you don't need anything else so if you have those you can build this system so the first thing you need to consider is where you're going to place your compost. Ideally, you don't want to place it in full sun, nor do you want to place it underneath the trees because if you place it too close to trees, the runoff of the compost can affect the root system. However, there is always a caveat to these two rules and that is if you really need to place that compost where you're going to use it and if the location is like mine over there it's out in the sun i chose to build mine in direct light because i know that eventually i will build a roof over it protecting it from the sun so let's get to building this compost bin from these pallets the first thing we need to do is create a level area where we are going to build our pallet compost bin. And to do that, it's simply a case of just leveling off the soil wherever your chosen destination is. Start by standing two of the pallets to create a corner. Ensure that both pallets have the tops facing into the compost bin and screw these together through the supporting blocks of the pallet with six inch screws. Once this has been done on all three supporting blocks, we need to square up this corner before adding a third side wall. If you skip this step, the front will not slide up and down and the whole structure might be unstable. Lift the third wall and screw this as we did the previous sides. 
we now have a bay built and in place. We can make this stronger if we desire by capping the surface of the pallets with extra planks of timber. This will give the top a solid surface but also help strengthen the compost bin. I will not be doing it here as this is a demonstration compost bin and I will need to dismantle it and move it for a future project I have coming for you. Before we worry about the front to this compost bin, we need to wrap it in this stuff. This is floor protection from my local Home Depot store. It is used to protect hardwood floors when you're doing work in your home. It's very cheap and made from twin wall vinyl. It's recyclable, waterproof, and it's easy to fit. Simply wrap the structure starting with the sides and staple the covering into place. Work around the entire compost bin and then fold and cut the top and staple this down. The front is created by screwing two pieces the height of the compost bins in the middle of the blocks. This creates the space to form part of the slot that the front doors will slide in. Screw onto these a plank that will create the slot and the front is ready to receive its doors. As far as the doors go, I do not need any for my future project so I'll take some from my personal compost bins to show you. They are very simple to make. Cut a number of planks of pallet wood to the length of the distance across the front of the compost bin. Allow around one inch gap for the front to slide easily. I suggest making the front in two sections as it's easier to remove and fill the compost from the bins. So cut some two by two timbers, half the height you need. You'll need four in total. Take two of these and screw or nail the planks you cut previously to these. Slide these fronts into their slots to check the fit. And there you have it, the compost bin is complete. All you need now is to cut a piece of plastic to cover the compost when it's filled and a piece of carpet to go over the top of that. When selecting your pallets, you want to look for the HT symbol. That means that these pallets have been heat treated only and they haven't been impregnated with chemicals which could leach into your garden. Now the blue and red pallets that you typically see on uh, construction sites and things have all been treated with these chemicals and should be avoided. So there we have it, a good sized compost bin that'll take maybe about a ton of compost. This is something that you can stick in a garden somewhere. It's not gonna look unsightly and um, it's going to really help you uh, get the best compost you possibly can that's full of nutrients. Now, as you can see here, I've got five bins that are full of the stuff and I need to empty this onto the garden before this year's stuff goes into it and I'll create another one. But I'm creating two batches of this a year and I could probably use it after about three months as a mulch. It's really good quality compost and you can do that with this and put it in a garden next to a shed or something like that and it's not gonna look unsightly. If you found value in this video, you can subscribe here. And when you've done that, if you wanna learn exactly how to make the best compost ever, then this is the video you should watch because in that I show you all the ins and outs of making the perfect nutrient dense compost. I'm Tony O'Neill, this is Simplified Gardening where I show you how to garden in a simpler way. Remember folks, you reap what you sow and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.